Hello. Here is an example of dividing polynomials. Here, we are trying to divide a polynomial of degree 4 with a polynomial of degree 2, right? Now, can you tell me what would be the degree of the quotient here? So, think about it and let me know. Meanwhile, I'll make my division process start, right? And what type of remainder do you expect from this? We are dividing x to the power of 4, let me write that here, plus 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus x plus 2 by x squared minus x minus 2. Now, what do you expect degree of the quotient? Degree of the quotient should be 4 minus 2. And what do you expect about the remainder? Remainder should be either of degree 1 or lower. Like ax plus b. Okay, That is how you should look into. right? Now here, let's start division. So first thing is 3 terms. All are in order. Nothing is missing. right? x to the power 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. 2, 1, 0. So nothing is missing. We do not have to add some zeros in between. Right? Now here we'll, we are taking three terms, one, two, three, and with these three terms, uh, we should now try to factor out the first one. Now that should be x square, right? So let's multiply this with x square. x square times this is x to the power of 4 minus x cube minus 2x square, right? And when you take away this, what do you get? x to the power 4 minus 4 is 0, which was expected. And when you do this, you get 3x cubed, right? And here, when you take away 2, it is minus 2x squared. Now, we have to bring the third term, in this case, fourth term, down, right? Plus 6. Now, we'll multiply by 3 times x, right? So that we get 3x cubed when we multiply with x squared. So, we'll do plus... 3x, right? Now here we get 3x cubed. Then we get minus 3x squared. And minus 2 times 3 is 6. So minus 6x. And we'll take away this also. Okay? So when we take away, then we get here x squared. And this becomes plus 7x. And we bring down the last term, which is plus 2 x square is okay so one times right plus one so we get x square minus x minus two so when you take away this seven minus x minus or minus becomes eight right eight x plus four so the remainder is eight x plus four now whenever you divide you should write your division statement right so division statement here will be x to the power of 4 plus 2x cubed minus 4x square plus x plus 2. This is your fx which is divided by, <coughs> well with that was a statement but this could be written this is equal to, we can write this equal to this times this right which is x square minus x minus 2 times x square plus 3x plus 1 plus the remainder right plus remainder is 8x plus 4 right so that is our division statement so when you divide this by this you get this or you can write this fx is divisor into quotient plus remainder now the problem for you is to do this division without using long division method okay now let me ask you one question can you use synthetic division to do this division no you can't why synthetic division can only be used if we are dividing by linear factors not quadratic okay that can't be done okay now you can see from here the quotient was 2 degrees less, eh? 4 minus 2, that's the quotient, and the remainder was 1 degree lesser than the divisor. You should see that now, right? 
Now, my question to you is, find the remainder without long division. Like if you were dividing by a linear factor, let's say x minus 2, then in that case you could find p of 2 value of the polynomial, this function, at 2 and whatever you get was remainder. That is the remainder theorem, right? Now here, x square minus x minus 2 could be factored, right? So this is minus, so it could be done as x minus 2 times x plus 1. Now, so when you divide this function, let's call this function f of x, by x minus 2 times x plus 1, what remainder will you get? That's the question. And how can you do it without long division? With long division, you know the remainder is 8x plus 4. Okay? Think about it and try to do it. What is going to be the remainder of the given function divided by x square minus x minus 2? And you need to find it without doing long division, without doing the going through the process which we just did using remainder theorem. Okay? Try that out. Fine. Thank you.